Well, the Penn Manor School Board has just voted to adopt policies that were created with the help of the Independence Law Center. Now, the latest move from the religious rights law firm, as well as the actions of board members tonight, has some residents concerned for student safety. On Monday night, Penn Manor School District became the latest to consider controversial policies in the Susquehanna Valley. Under the first policy, a student can only participate in sports that align with their gender assigned at birth. However, there are several exceptions to this, including the state of a male student's puberty, a school's lack of gendered sports teams, or if an evaluation concludes the participation would not threaten competition. Under the second policy, student records can only reflect a preferred name if a parent can provide legal documentation reflecting the change and unofficial documentation, such as classroom rosters, can only reflect a student's preferred name if a parent requests it during registration or submits a written request. A written request is also used for changes to gender identity and requires the parent or student, if they're 18, to sign off on relieving the district from liability for, quote, participating in social transition treatments of the minor child. Even if these accommodation requests are approved by the district, staff are still allowed to refuse a student's preferred name or pronoun if it is inconsistent with their beliefs and instead refer to them by a last name or neutral second person pronoun. Some district residents say this will harm students that don't have accepting families. The forced disclosure of a student's gender identity could lead to emotional harm, family conflict, or homelessness. The decision to share this information must remain with the student, ensuring their safety and readiness. We should trust students to decide when it is safe for them to come out not force them to share their identity prematurely. But others say these policies give parents more of a say in their child's education, something they argue is a fundamental right. I think it's a good idea for the parents to have the authority over their children. A parent has a legal right to know everything about their children. They birthed them, they raised them, and they're raising them, and they're taking care of them financially and it's their responsibility to take care of them, not the school district, not a teacher. Not now, the name and pronoun policy will be going into effect at the start of the second semester. Live in Lancaster, McKenna Alexander, WGAL News 8.